Hi, I am Faisal. And in this uh, video tutorial, I will explain you how to install uh, Python on Android devices. You can install it on tablet or mobile. For this example, I'm using tablet, but steps are same for mobile devices. So let's get started. Go to Play Store. Let's see where is Play Store. It's not here. Here it is. And uh, search for uh, PyDroid. It has a very good rating. Uh, it has a rating of uh, 4.3. It has 25 kilo reviews uh, while uh, downloads are uh, 1 million downloads. So it's quite uh, usable, quite famous. The space it takes will be uh, 56 MB. So let's install it. Press install button. It will take a while depending upon your internet speed. It is uh, downloading. So let's see. Yes, it is installed. Uh, the software is installed. Now I will open it. So this is the welcome screen of PyDroid 3. So they are welcoming and appreciating me. And they want me to get started with. So it is asking me about experience so let's continue what i am planning to use it for i am planning to use it for learning hobby professional work i am planning to do some prototype no not pro i'm i think this one is uh, better preserve file on exist dark th okay so let's turn on some option Preserve file on exist. The file will not delete. Dark theme, it is good. And uh, tab insert space. So if I press tab button, it will put space. So let's continue. What type of program you want? I am planning for simple terminal and web app mostly. So here it is. And uh, now there's something um which they want me to get into is to use their premium feature so uh, this will require me to buy it so per month price is uh, uh, uh 350 and lifetime price is 1100 so let's see i press the back button uh, so that i escape the pop-up and let's go back here in the pi drive and let me make a program okay so i would like to uh, type in so the first program as you know it should be for only testing purpose so whether this work or not so print parenthesis and then uh, it is hello world so let's execute this code i think this play button so it has uh, run and the hello world is uh, uh, printed so that's how you can let's go back here and let me save my file so what where i can save my uh, file okay let me try to figure out whether i can save my file or not 
So here is the option. So if I say save as hello, internal storage, and uh, I want to save in document, I want to create a folder, uh, the name of folder there should be, let, let it be uh, by docs. With no space. So select this folder and let the file be hello dot pi. There will be hello dot pi. And uh, this is my first file. The name of this file is uh, hello.py. Uh, it has uh, this code. It is saved in my document. And uh, to run it, what I need is to press this uh, play button. If I press it, it will run my code. Let me give you some more uh, information about uh, the interface. Uh, here you see three dots. Uh, it has option of redo, undo, search, go to particular line. Then you have this uh, idea option, button icon. Uh, from here you to get to some uh, names. If there are names available at the moment, I don't have go to some assignment i don't have that go to some definition at the moment i don't have any of them from here folder menu you can uh, start a new file open save save as close check your recent files then we have a menu hamburger menu and from here you can open interpreter Python interpreter or open the terminal from where you can run uh, Python files or you can go to pip from where you can install packages you can share your work you can upload it to paste bin you can find samples you can go for more IDE it has uh, here some add you can control the settings terminal settings and check the privacy policy to install packages python packages you will need to go to pip from here go to quick install and you can install some famous libraries like tensor for low for machine learning torch facebook machine learning PyQt for graphical apps, Jupyter for Jupyter notebooks. So this was uh, installation and a quick start guide of uh, PyDroid. It's uh, a useful app. It will enrich your mobile with more features and computational capabilities. That's it. Thank you.